it's Diabetic Danica. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about something that's pretty new in the diabetes world that I'm super excited about, and it is InPen. This is my InPen. I got the pink one. And if you've never heard of InPen, it is made by the company Companion Medical. And Companion Medical is actually sponsoring this video today, so thank you guys so much for that. But even if they weren't sponsoring this video, I would want to tell you about this product because it's actually like really, really cool. And I did briefly mention it in my video where I went to the ADA conference because they're the ones who helped me get into the conference. And then once I was there, I learned about their product, which I had never heard of before. And I think that people need to know about it because it's really cool. So basically, you guys probably know that I'm on an insulin pump and a Dexcom CGM. And personally, I think for me, the insulin pump is the right choice for my insulin therapy. However, if I was not on an insulin pump, I think that InPen would be the way that I would want to go because it's pretty much an insulin pump without being an insulin pump. It's got all the brains of an insulin pump, but you just inject the insulin and still take long acting insulin as well. And what I mean by that is your smart pen, your in pen, links with an app on your phone. And the app on your phone is basically the brain of like what would be an insulin pump. So if I go to the in pen app, it looks like this. And built into the app is a bolus calculator. So I can go to the calculator. And all I have to do is enter in my blood sugar, let's say I'm 150, and enter in my carbs, let's say I'm gonna eat 30 grams of carbs, and then based on the settings that I've already put into the app, it recommends that I give three units. And so then I can save that and give my dose. When I set up the app, I put in all my insulin sensitivity factors, my carb ratios, my duration of insulin action, my target blood sugar, my maximum calculated dose. Also in the app, you can set a reminder for your long acting insulin, the type, what time you take it, and how many units. You can also set reminders for meal time so that if you miss a dose in between a certain time frame, it can remind you that you forgot to take your dose, like for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So you basically pair your pen through Bluetooth to your phone, and then your phone keeps track of everything. So let's go get a cartridge and a needle, and I'll show you how it works. So there are three different colors of pen. There's pink, blue, or gray, and you can use cartridges of either Novolog or Fiasp in the Novolog in pen, or Humalog in the Humalog in pen. This is just saline. <laughs> But you take your pen, take the big cap off, and this cartridge cap cover off. Cartridge slides in here. I made sure this piston was all the way wound in, and then this just snaps into place. I have a needle cap right here. I'm gonna pull the back off of it. Push this on the top, get that big cap off, get that little cap off, and there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and try to prime two units. I dial to two and then I'm going to push the button just because I don't know exactly where that piston is and um, this cartridge is already partially used so I'm going to have to keep priming until I actually get up to the insulin. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, like I said, not real insulin. So, most of the time, although it kind of smells like insulin, maybe it's just really old saline. Um, anyway, the other wonderful thing about the InPen is that it does do half units, so it can do more precise dosing. And since it uses a bolus calculator, it can really fine tune your doses for you. So, usually you'd put on a pen cap, go to one or two units, make sure you see some drops on the end, and then you could pull up your dose. Your InPen is going to know that every time you put on a new cartridge that you're going to prime it. So it automatically logs your first dial up and push through as a prime. It's also going to know in the future that if you deliver a dose and then within a minute deliver another dose, it's going to count that first dose as a prime because it's assuming that you're doing one or two units to prime the needle, get the air out, and then the next part is your actual dose. 
So I think it's really cool that it is smart in that sense and knows when it's a prime versus not, because obviously if it's a prime, it doesn't want to count that in your active insulin. So since I had to really do a lot of units to um, get the piston up to the cartridge level, I'm going to have to relabel a lot of these doses as primes, which is easy to do in the app. You just go into your logbook, look at your doses and mark them all as primes. So I'm going to do that here. So I have no active insulin now because those were all primes. And now I'm going to show you how it works. So let me go get something to inject. It's chewy. So honestly, I wanted to inject into my uh, pancreas, which is my like plush stuffed pancreas, but I moved and now I can't find my pancreas. So chewy it is. So let's say I just put on a pen cap. I'm gonna prime a unit. Boop, I see drops. And I'm gonna pretend my dose is that three units that I calculated. So I dialed it up to three. I'm gonna pick a spot, let's say back of his arm, poke in and deliver. Hold it there for a little bit to absorb and then I'm gonna pull out and if I go to my app, it automatically says that I have three units of active insulin. So you can look and see where I had three units given, my blood sugar was 150 and it's automatically calculating my active insulin based on the three hours active insulin time that I put in. So I wanna show it to you and how fast it gets on the app. So let's do it like this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a dose of eight and a half. Ready? Ta-da! Magic! I totally just hit my box light with saline. <laughs> Probably not a great idea. <laughs> Actually, it's funny because I gave that second dose so fast, it counted the first one as a prime, but I can always go in and say, no, it was a dose that I gave, and then it'll recalculate my active insulin. So the reason I like this is because I feel like that's one of the hard part of giving injections versus being on the pump is that you need to make sure you're spreading out your rapid acting insulin doses far enough apart so you're not stacking insulin because insulin, the rapid acting insulins last about three to four hours in your body typically. And so this automatically does the math so that it can subtract any active insulin that you have based on your ratios, based on your active insulin, it'll calculate your dose for you just like a pump would. It'll also do reverse correction. So if you're running on the lower side, you put in a lower blood sugar and your carbs, it'll subtract insulin units as well that you don't need because you're on the lower side of your target or the lower side from your target. I also think it's cool that when you put in a new cartridge, it starts counting down from 28 days so that you know when your cartridge has been opened for 28 days because they're only technically good for 28 days. There's also a built in thermometer that can let you know if your pen and subsequently your insulin has gotten too hot or cold, which I think is a really cool feature so that you know if your insulin integrity has been compromised based on being out of the acceptable temperature range. I also love that it automatically logs your doses. You don't have to go in there and type them all in. You just enter your carbs and your blood sugar to help you calculate. And then when you give the dose, like you saw, it automatically pinged to my phone. Even if I didn't use the calculator, it would automatically ping to my phone. So let's do uh, two units. I'm gonna squirt it somewhere. And yep, there it is. I didn't even use the calculator. I just gave a manual dose and it knows automatically. Thin pen is only for the rapid acting insulin, so it doesn't know when you give your long acting, but it does remind you to give your long acting and then you can tell it once you've done so, so you can log it. Um, but I think it's really great that you can see everything in here. You can see all the blood sugars you've entered. You can see your doses, the last time you gave a dose. If you're like, hmm, did I give my dose for lunch? You can look at your app and see if you did or not. So I think it really helps you keep track. It's also great for when you go to your doctor's appointments. So since I'm a diabetes educator, I can really value this part where you can send reports to your physician and you can integrate your Dexcom data as well. And your reports from your app, you can either email to your doctor or you can even fax them. So on your reports for your doctor, you can have your Dexcom data with all your doses and everything and your carbs and all the information they need to help you make changes to your regimen. It works with Android phones, it works with Apple phones. You can even 
at least on the Apple, I don't know about Android, make it a widget so that you can just pull down your screen, swipe over, and you can get into InPen, see your insulin on board, go to your calculator straight that way from your widgets, see your last doses too. You can pair up to two pens with your device. You can have like one for school and one for home if you're a student. And the little battery in here lasts for a whole year. So your pen lasts for a year before you need another one. And you just switch out the little cartridges. Anyway, this is definitely the smartest smart pen I have ever come in contact with. And so I just stand by that if I was not on a pump, I would definitely want to use the InPen. So I thought I would definitely share it with you guys in case any of you prefer injections or you're just not ready for an insulin pump. I think this is a great way to keep track of everything and to make your diabetes management easier. It takes away the issue of you having to calculate all your doses, do all the math, or use maybe if your hospital or whatever has little dosing cards that you use to figure out your dose, whatever it might be, um, you can just enter in your carbs, enter in your blood sugar, and it does all the math for you. So I think it's a really helpful tool if you wanna get one or even just look into them more. I'll just leave a link for you in the description so you can check it out. Um, but yeah, thank you so much to Companion Medical for sponsoring this video and sending me the InPen for free. I really appreciate it. It's a really, really cool device that I hope can get into the hands of more people who could really benefit from it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I make new videos about diabetes all of the time. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. So eventually, when you take your old cartridge out, your little piston will be farther up, and so you do have to twist it back. I'm so bad at this, there we go. Twist it back. So when you take out your cartridge, the little piston will be farther up, and so you do have to twist it back before you can use it again. I'm totally going the wrong way. So after you've been using your in-pen and you take out the cartridge, you'll notice that the piston is obviously a lot farther up, so you need to hold here on the end and get it back in. There we go. I went the wrong way. Until it's all the way down. There we go. Party time.